Tell us about press play and your character in the film. Um, okay, so press play, I would categorize it as a love story um, between um, Laura and Harrison. And I play Chloe, who is Laura's best friend and Harrison's stepsister. And my character, Chloe, she, um, she loves boys and she loves to have fun. And I think she's kind of the reason that her stepbrother and her yeah. best friend are dating in the first place, okay? Just gonna say that. You've played such a wide range of characters throughout your career. What was it about this particular character and this script that stood out to you? Um, I think I think it was also, I read the script um, and saw the audition email request right as I was finishing up um, filming um, a show uh, a Marvel show. So it was very, yeah. it was a lot. And I was kind of, I needed to bring some lightness back into my life. And I saw the script, I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a love story and there's time travel, but more it, it's, it's for music lovers. It's a love letter for music lovers. Um, and I am one. And if I get to play this character, Chloe, and I get to just say fun things and be the life of the party for a few months in Hawaii, then I'm in. <laughs> So it happened. Quick segue to this next question, but this film does such a beautiful job highlighting the power of music. If you had to make a soundtrack of your life, what would be on it? Oh, well, soundtrack of my life, Mitski. Mitski would be it. Um, Japanese Breakfast, because they're in the film and I, yeah. I'm also a fan. I love them. And they're also very nice people. Um, and... I honestly, I listened to way too much Nirvana for it to not be a part of the soundtrack of my life, even though it might be a little dark and depressing, um, it would be part of it. Now, this is also Greg's feature film debut as a director. What has it been like for you getting to share that moment with him? And what was that collaboration like? Oh, it fed me so much joy and, and just life. Um, yeah, like I, I, it was so nice to be a part of of filming this and, and being able to work on this project with him because he was so excited. I mean, this is his baby with, you know, his co-writer, James Batchelor. They wrote this together, um, but they were so passionate and so excited about it that it, it really kind of was a good reminder of like why I was, you know, doing this in the first place. I mean, of course it's representation matters and I do it for that, but also, it's important to just kind of be, be around people that really, you know, have a reason to want to be making these films. And, and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's nice. It's, it, was, it was a joy to be a, a part of it. Beautifully said. You, you also shared on social media how much this project has meant to you. When you look back at this experience, what will you remember most? The people. Um, the, I mean, the cast and also the crew members. Oh my gosh. Like everyone was such a joy to work with. Um, we got to, I got to have two and a half months of, of being there, um, and just sharing not only wonderful moments on set, but outside of set, like on the weekends, we would all still grab lunch and dinners together and have a drink by the pool and, and adventure around the, the island. And, um, yeah, yeah. This character is such a departure from Nico, from Runaways, like you were just saying earlier. Um, when you, this film drops, is there a particular scene that you're really excited for your fans to see? Yeah, probably the scene where she um, introduces um, Laura to Harrison for the first time. I, I think you get to kind of get an inside look into what Chloe's music tastes are like, like namely Cardi B. <laughs> And that is also up my alley. I love Cardi B. I love me some Cardi. Um, yeah, but I think that would be fun to watch. But also, I mean, even if you're a fan of mine, I, I think you would just really enjoy seeing this movie. I was lucky and honored enough to be just a small part of it. But just you get to see, you know, lovely Clara and Lewis's face on the screen. Like, go see it. And they're wonderful people. The film touches on so many timely and relevant messages. Was there one in particular that hit home for you? And what do you hope audiences take away after they see it? Enjoy and, 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 and really be present for every, or try to be, I know it's not possible, it's easier said than done, but try to enjoy and be present for the moment, within the moments that 
you get to have with the people that you love because it's you know as sad as it might sound it's never really a promise that you'll always be able to keep having yeah. that so always cherish those moments at least that's what I took away from the movie same I got one final question for you besides this film where can fans see you next um uh, okay well I we've talked about it a lot today and I didn't think I was going to talk about it but I it's not a film it's a video game um I think I think I'm allowed to say it because it's on IMDb apparently but I'm <laughs> reprising my role of Nico Minoru um uh in Midnight Suns it's a video game that comes out or is out it's, it's coming out um so that's happening and yeah I, I, I think that's pretty much all I can say I think